Skoda Octavia Review Our Rating 4 Star The Skoda Octavia is a subtle alternative to the Volkswagen Golf that offers more space and better value. 4 Lots of space, fuel-efficient engines, plenty of equipment. Against Not as cheap as it was, conservative design, unexciting to drive. The Skoda Octavia is a brilliantly packaged variation on its Volkswagen Group bedfellows, the VW Golf and Seat Leon. It offers more boot space than either, as well as a hugely practical interior with enough room for five. In terms of driving, the Skoda Octavia feels competent, but it isn't as much fun behind the wheel as some of its rivals such as the Ford Focus or even the aforementioned Golf. The Skoda Octavia Estate won the Auto Express Best Estate Car of 2013 award as a result of its attractive price, spacious interior, and understated looks. Talking of looks, you wouldn't call the latest Octavia racy, unless you're lucky enough to be in the market for a hot VRS version. But for solidity, reliability, and all-round, practicality the Octavia is hard to beat for family or business drivers. Our choice. Skoda Octavia 1.6 TDI 110 PS Greenline 3. The Skoda Octavia is a practical hatchback that is a rival to the Volkswagen Golf and Ford Focus. Ever since it first went on sale, it has offered more space than its closest rivals, while competitive pricing means the Octavia has always delivered great value for money. The current third-generation Octavia went on sale in 2013, and it uses the same VW Group MQB platform as the VW Golf, Seat Leon, and Audi A3. Thanks to the price structure within the VW Group, the Octavia only really rivals the Leon and lower-spec versions of the Golf. The Octavia is built in the Czech Republic, and it comes as a five-door hatchback or a spacious estate, both of which offer more room inside than most compact hatchbacks. While earlier versions of the Octavia offered great value for money, the current car is priced higher than before, although it's still decent value when compared to some rivals, especially when you consider the space on offer, which comes close to rivaling larger cars such as the VW Passat and Ford Mondeo. There are a wide range of trims available, starting with the basic Octavia S, and moving up through SE, SE Business, and SEL, while the range is topped by the luxurious Lauren and Clement trim. If you have particular preferences in your equipment list, there are also SE Sport and SE Technology models available that are an upgrade of the basic SE model. The current Octavia doesn't offer the same value for money as Skoda's of old, but the entry-level Octavia S has alloy wheels, automatic post-collision braking and DAB radio. Mid-range SE cars add more kit, while top-spec SEL and Lauren and Clement versions can rival sister company Audi for luxury, but for a lower price. In addition, there are some special models in the range. The fuel-efficient Greenline models rival VW's Blue Motion cars for low running costs, and promise economy of up to 80.7 mpg. The Octavia VRS hot hatchback is the performance flagship of the range. It has an enthusiastic following, and the first version was launched with a high-profile World Rally Championship campaign behind it, way back in 1999. The current VRS mixes GDI-like performance with the practical qualities that Octavia owners have come to know and love. If that's a bit too racy for you, then the Octavia Scout 4X4 offers a rugged off-road look and a plush interior, although it's only sold as an estate. Under the bonnet, the Octavia features a broad range of turbocharged engines. Petrol engines include a recently introduced 1.0 TSI 115 PS turbo 3-cylinder, a 1.4 TSI 150 PS 4-cylinder and the 2.0 TSI with 220 PS or 230 PS in the VRS. There's a 1.6 TDI 110 PS diesel, and a 2.0 TDI 150 PS diesel, 
while the VRS can be had with a more powerful 184 PS diesel. All models come with a 6-speed manual gearbox, while every model bar the green line can be had with a DSG automatic gearboxes with 6 or 7 gears, depending on what engine you choose. In addition, you can also get the diesel VRS hatch with a 4x4 drivetrain, and this is available on 2.0 TDI versions of the Octavia Estate. Engines, Performance, and Drive 4.2 Star The engine range is impressively efficient, but the Octavia driving experience lacks sparkle. Behind the wheel, the conservative appearance of non-VRS Skoda Octavia models matches their handling. While it shares many components with the Volkswagen Golf and Seat Leon, the Skoda Octavia is not as good to drive as either. It also can't match the Ford Focus for driving thrills. The Skoda Octavia may not be quite as much fun to drive as the Volkswagen Golf, but there's very little body roll. Less sound deadening means you hear bumps in the road more than in the VW, but it's far from uncomfortable. The 4x4 Estate is unique in offering a more sophisticated multi-link rear suspension, and this noticeably improves both ride and handling. The Skoda Octavia VRS gets the 2.0-liter turbocharged engine from the Volkswagen Golf GDI. It manages 0 to 62 miles per hour in just 6.8 seconds with a 154 miles per hour maximum, it handles rather well, and it will suit keen drivers who are also on the lookout for practicality and economy. Engines The engine range on the Skoda Octavia yields plenty of choice. It's comprised of four diesels and four petrols, all of which are available with Skoda's excellent automatic DSG gearbox. The expansive lineup of diesel and petrol units ranges from the 1.0-liter 3CYLTSI petrol, the smallest engine in the range to the turbocharged 2.0-liter petrol found in the Skoda Octavia VRS. With the exception of the engine in the VRS, none are particularly thrilling, but all blend performance, practicality, and economy very well. The petrol-powered VRS tops the performance table, and two versions are available. The standard VRS 220 with 217 bhp, and the 230 version with an extra 10 bhp, lowered suspension and an electronically controlled diff that distributes torque across the front axle to give better traction out of corners. It's only minutely faster in a straight line 6.7 SECS from 0 to 62 miles per hour and a 155 miles per hour maximum but it handles with a little more verve. The diesel VRS hits 0 to 62 miles per hour in 8.1 seconds, but has a welcome extra wallop of low end grunt, which makes its performance very usable in daily driving. At the other end of the range the 113BHP 1.0 liter TSI is surprisingly perky, with a 0 to 62 miles per hour time of 10.0 seconds and a 125 miles per hour maximum, while the 1.4 liter TSI covers 0 to 62 miles per hour in snappy 8.1 seconds thanks to its 138BHP. The turbocharged petrol engines in the Skoda Octavia are definitely worth considering if you're not doing many long journeys, but if you're planning on covering big miles, then go for a diesel engine. The 148BHP provided by the 2.0 TDI engine offers 0 to 62 miles per hour in 8.4 seconds and is a great choice. The diesels may be slightly more raucous than their equivalents in the Audi A3 or Volkswagen Golf, but the economy will be worth it. Overall it's the diesel Green Line 3 model that's our pick of the bunch. Powered by a 109BHP 1.6 TDI engine the third generation Green Line model isn't the quickest, with a 10.6 second 0 to 62 miles per hour time, but it is by far the most economical, and there's precious little penalty in terms of cornering ability and refinement compared to less frugal versions. MPG, CO2 and running costs. 4.8 star. Impressive economy is one of the Octavia diesel's strengths, especially in green line spec. 
None of the engines in the Skoda Octavia range are particularly thirsty, but the 109 BHP 1.6 TDI diesel is by far the most efficient, returning 74.3 mpg and CO2 emissions of just 99 g/km on the standard 1.6 TDI model, and 88.3 mpg and 85 g/km on the Green Line model. The latter's improved figures are thanks to an extra ratio in the manual gearbox, and fuel-saving technology such as stop-start, low-rolling resistance tires and brake energy regeneration. The Skoda Octavia's 2.0 TDI diesel also returns good economy figures. In manual guise it manages a claimed 68.9 mpg, and emits 106 g/km of CO2, and with the DSG gearbox it still does a respectable 62.8 mpg with 119 g slash km of CO2. The sporty Skoda Octavia VRS is also available with a diesel engine, which is far from a gas guzzler. It does 61.4 mpg and emits 119 g slash km of CO2. Even the petrol version of the Skoda Octavia VRS is impressive with 45.6 mpg and CO2 emissions of 142 g slash km. With the DSG gearbox, the Octavia VRS has an economy figure of 44.1 mpg and emissions of 149 g slash km. The 148 BHP 1.4 TSI is also quite punchy and returns good numbers. With the DSG gearbox, it returns 56.5 mpg, plus 114 g-km of CO2. With the manual, it returns 55.4 mpg, but CO2 emissions rise to 119 g-km. Overall, the Skoda Octavia is good value to buy thanks to a high level of standard equipment and low servicing costs, this means it's not an expensive car to keep on the road. Insurance Groups Octavia VRS drivers pay a price for driving some of the fastest Skoda road cars ever built, and it comes in the shape of Group 29 insurance. Still, that's on a PAR with other similarly performing cars elsewhere in the VW group. Other Octavias in the lineup are more affordable to cover. The 1.0 liter TSI is Group 14, along with the 1.6 TDI while the 1.4-liter TSI and 2.0-liter TDs range from 18 to 20 depending on model spec. Depreciation If you're buying an Octavia privately you will lose a significant amount in depreciation over three years of ownership, but at least you can be confident buyers of its rivals are faring a lot worse. If used demand for the latest Octavias keeps pace with the last generation, you might expect to retain around 45% of your car's value. Typically TDs have done a little better, as have mid-range trim levels. Interior, design, and technology. 4 Star. Restrained and sensible styling wraps up a full house of technology options. The Octavia isn't going to win any beauty contests, but the Skoda's upright lines and straight edges are handsome and well-defined. The nose features a rectangular main grille and headlights, while the second grille under the bumper stretches the full width of the front end. This makes the Octavia look wide and low. From the side, the Skoda is long and low, while the rear windscreen's shallow angle and the lengthy rear overhang are virtually saloon-like. As standard, the Octavia doesn't look particularly racy, but the car can be ordered with the 570 pounds sport style pack. This adds black stripes to the bottom of the doors and bootlet, a subtle tailgate lip spoiler and gloss black mirror housings. Combine this pack with a set of 650 pounds, 17 inch alloy wheels, and the Octavia certainly looks a bit racier, although there's a bit of an aftermarket feel to the body stripes. Inside, the Skoda is restrained and sensible, with a conventional dashboard and center console layout. The dash features a lot of dark gray plastic, and some of it has a hard finish, but the silver trim around the gear lever and the gloss black trim on the center console and steering wheel, give the cabin a lift. 
This means it doesn't feel like a dreary place in which to spend time. The white on black dials and trip computer are simple to read, while the touch screen sat NAV is a breeze to use, with a logical layout and straightforward controls allowing you to input destinations with ease. Elsewhere, there's dark gray cloth upholstery and more dark gray plastic throughout. However, this is countered by a light gray roof lining, which helps the Octavia's cabin feel more spacious. Overall, the Skoda is functional rather than flashy, but it's arguably all the better for it, while build quality is excellent. Skoda offers the Octavia in seven trim levels, which are all available in either a hatch or estate body style. Mainstream models are the entry level S, mid-range SE, and SEL, and Skoda also offers the eco-friendly green line, the high-spec Lauren and Clement, the company car-focused SE business, and the hot Skoda Octavia VRS. Skoda's reputation for good value is well-deserved and standard equipment on the Octavia is excellent, with alloy wheels, DAB radio, a touchscreen system and Bluetooth connectivity all coming as standard on the entry-level S model. The racy Skoda Octavia VRS adopts a sporty appearance, with a boot spoiler, bigger alloy wheels, a red strip across the rear bumper and a more aggressive body kit. It's also available in a bright range of colors. The interior of the Skoda Octavia VRS is also given some much-needed flair thanks to sports seats, which are also available in black and white Alcantara, aluminium dash inlays, aluminium pedals and a sports steering wheel. SAT NAV, Stereo and Infotainment The infotainment systems on the Octavia are bang up to date, with full connectivity, touch screens with motion sensors that call up menus, and the option of advanced navigation systems offering intuitive controls and clear mapping. You can connect your smartphone using Mirror Link, Apple CarPlay, and Android Auto interfaces, while SmartGate Tech allows you to send vehicle driving and performance data to a connected device. There's a decent 8-speaker sound system as standard, but you can also upgrade to a Canton system which adds a central dash speaker and a boot-mounted subwoofer. It's the standard setup on the Lauren and Clement model. Practicality, Comfort, and Boot Space 5 Star It's pretty simple. If you need more space than the Octavia offers, buy a van. The current generation Skoda Octavia is much bigger than the previous model, and the simply clever marketing line attached to the car is not just spin, it actually rings true. Skoda has been sensible with the interior of the Octavia, and there are plenty of storage spaces and cubbies. Look hard enough and you'll find cup holders, rubbish bins, boot holders, a reversible boot floor and even an ice scraper hidden inside the fuel filler cap. These little touches all add to the Skoda Octavia's sensible and practical appeal but it's comfortable too. All models have a steering wheel that's adjustable for height and reach, and the driver's seat has plenty of adjustment too. Forward visibility is good, but you are likely to rely on the parking sensors at the rear, as there's quite an overhang to contend with. If you're opting for the estate version, you'll be in load lugging heaven its interior is cavernous. Size the Skoda Octavia boasts more interior space than a Volkswagen Golf or Ford Focus. In fact, it can match larger cars such as the Ford Mondeo and Volkswagen Passat in the practicality stakes. It's a real selling point for the Octavia, and one that attracts a lot of potential buyers. So how do they actually measure up? Well the 4,659mm long Octavia 5-door hatch gives only 2,0cms away to the Ford Mondeo 5-door, but is 4,0cms longer than the 5-door VW Golf. Switch to the estate and the numbers are the same for the Octavia and Mondeo, but VW hits back by giving its Golf estate a longer body than the hatch. It's almost identical to the Octavia at 4,657mm. Legroom headroom and passenger space. The Octavia's interior is cavernous, offering the sort of leg and headroom for passengers that you'd expect in the class above. No wonder the model has been a perennial favorite with many cavers. The rear doors open wide too, and SEL spec cars even get cup holders in the back. 
boot. The Octavia hatch has a huge 590 liter boot that expands to 1580 liters with the rear seats folded flat. The estate can handle 610 liters with the seats still in place, but really comes into its own with the 60 colon 40 split rear bench folded flat suddenly you're in the removals business, with a remarkable 1,740 liters. But it's not just the space that impresses. The simply clever thinking means the boots of both hatch and estate feature shopping bag hooks, a 12 volt power supply and a pair of bright load bay lights just the thing when you need to unpack the boot to change a flat tire in the dark. The estate also features a secure storage area under a removable deck, and there's a ski flap in the rear bench too. You can also spend extra on a powered tailgate, and the versatile Octavia will tow up to 1,600 kgs with the 2.0 liter diesel engine. Reliability and Safety 4.8 Star The Skoda Octavia has an enviable reputation for reliability, and a 5 star Euro NCAP rating. Skoda has a strong reputation not only for building reliable cars, but also for offering a first-class dealer experience. The brand placed third overall in our Driver Power 2016 Satisfaction Survey, while the Octavia itself came seventh and top compact hatchback in our Top 200 Cars Rundown. Its dealers finished a disappointing 15th in our 2016 dealer poll, though. Those Volkswagen Group underpinnings pay dividends for Skoda across the board, and our sister site Carbuire is full of owner reviews praising the Octavia's build quality and reliability. The Octavia has a 5-star Euro NCAP rating earned in 2013, and its percentage scores for adult and child protection are slightly ahead of the Honda Civic, which was tested around the same time. Standard safety kit on the Skoda includes tiredness recognition and seven airbags, but adaptive cruise and blind spot recognition are costly options. The safety features fitted to the Skoda Octavia can also prime the seatbelt tensioners and close the windows to prepare for an accident if the car thinks the odds of an accident are looking unfavorable although we're not sure the system will be to everyone's liking, and even the brochure suggests sporty drivers may like to desensitize the system. There are up to nine airbags plus anti-lock brakes and anti-skid technology, and an automated parking system is available to reduce the likelihood of low-speed maneuvering bumps. Warranty There's nothing exciting to shout about on the warranty front, but given the Octavia's reliability record that probably won't be a cause for concern. You get the standard Skoda offer of 3 years slash 60 comma 0 mile cover but breakdown cover is included for that entire period too. If you want extended cover, you can purchase a 5 year slash 100 comma 0 mile package but it costs over 500 pounds for the two extra years. Servicing Skoda offers two servicing regimes for the Octavia. Private buyers are likely to opt for the standard schedule of 10,000 miles slash 12-month service intervals. High mileage or business users might prefer a flexible plan based on the car's onboard monitoring systems which can stretch service intervals out to 20,000 miles or two years. There's a fixed rate service plan available for around 475 pounds for three years.